everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. So, in today's video, I'm doing another Vincent recipe for you. I was blessed enough to get one or two this year, so definitely going to use it up in some videos and enjoy and chow down on it. So, this is the Alabama slash Mississippi roast, call it Alabama roast, because I'm in Alabama, not in Mississippi. <laughs> no, but it's basically just a Mississippi roast. So we'll jump on into the cook of it. It's pretty simple one, like mine always are. I love some simple cooking. So we'll jump on into the cook and then I'll chow down on it after I get done showing the cook. So see you on a few. Well, alrighty, folks, here's what we'll be looking at ingredients wise. I got a thing of beef broth base. I'm going to use a tablespoon of it, and a whole stick of butter, a whole jar of pepperoncini's juice, and all, and then a venison roast. And then I'm going to top it on top of some rice. And then I'll use a package of ranch seasoning to dash over the top of it so go ahead and get it to go in there so I got my roast in there and then it's just juices and all the peppers go in the crock pot there I'm trying to get all of the morsel I could get because I'm a big fan of the pepperoncinis and then just one package of ranch seasoning <laughs> it wouldn't come open there for me. Finally did. Then I'd just get it. And I'd dash it over the top of it to get it kind of evenly coating. And then they'll kind of melt on down because of the juices that the meat will cook out. And then from the vinegar that's in the pepperoncinis. And on the beef uh, base... I just use a tablespoon of it and just sprinkle it around just to get it kind of even on there and then it's gonna melt on down anyway and then it's just a good old stick of butter to go on it and I just kind of sit it on top of the roast so it can kind of just melt down over it and kind of melt down into it and then it's just simply putting the lid on and then I turn it on high and then just let it go until it gets kind of fork tender and it usually takes about four to six hours or so and like I said I'm gonna top this over some rice so I just did some regular rice and then use some of the chicken base seasoning kind of to go in it just to give my rice a little bit boost and some flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and now shred up the you know roast because it was tender and then we'll go from there and I'll do a taste test for you. So we'll see how that goes. Well alrighty folks back here with it. If y'all saw the cook, like I said, it's it's an easy one. I just had my venison roast, chunked it in the crock pot, dusted it, or poured the pepperoncinis on it, dusted it with the uh, ranch packet, then I threw the beef base broth on it, and then a uh, stick of butter, and boom, there you go. It's been a while since I've had one of these. It's just good. You can serve it over mashed potatoes or rice. I went with rice today. Threw in a little bit of the chicken seasoning flavor in there. <clears throat> just to bump it up in flavor. A little butter, of course. Mm. 
it's one that's kind of herby tasting and then it's kind of tangy too from the pepperoncini juices mm. <clears throat> and I love them pepperoncinis anyway I can just sit and eat them out of the jar just like eating pickles mm. stuff and made the rice pretty <laughs> I had me a little measuring cup filled it full and then turned it over on the plate so it looks more presentable than just dumping some rice down <laughs> usually I just dump it down but for video purposes kind of kind of make it a little a little more appealing and pretty, which this one's kind of hard to make really, really pretty because the meat's just kind of shredded on there. Then you got the pepper genies that have kind of melted away on themselves. You kind of got to pick through and watch for stems occasionally. <laughs> That's it. They cook now so soft that the stems just kind of pop right off. Mm. Meat's tender. <clears throat> Shredded up easy. And this was just one of the roast off the hindquarters of the deer. Mm. Good stuff. And too, from the drippings that you have in the crock pot, you can kind of strain out your pepperoncinis and the roast and stuff too. And then uh, either do flour or cornmeal and make you a gravy and then pour it over your peppers and meat and rice or mashed potatoes as well. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, folks. I'm not sure I'm still recording because y'all know the last time I got goofed up. I'm put in airplane mode to be sure. Okay, we're good. <coughs> Just wanted to check. <laughs> we're still good. Mm, as good as this. Tangy, kind of herby. And then it's got a touch of spice from the <clears throat> pepper genies. Mm. Mm. Good stuff. Mm. Love some venison. Oh, good stuff. Y'all like the shirt? Just testing it out right now. See how it holds up and everything. I like the look of it, how it turned out look-wise. I just want to make sure it's 
decent quality and stuff before I try to find someone to see if they can make it and if y'all want it to get it out to y'all so the head to tail family can have some good old merchandise that y'all can sport around to your friends and let them be jealous because they're not part of the family yet <laughs> but anyways it's a simple one as mine always are like i say of a good old alabama slash mississippi roast is a good one you can use uh beef on this one as well and it's it's just as delicious but i love the venison and i'm blessed to have it so i'm gonna use it but anyways i appreciate y'all watching as always it really means a lot to me that you offered me your time to watch whatever i'm doing so i really do appreciate it and uh y'all like share and subscribe if you want to if you haven't already and when you do hey you're part of the head to tail family we love you and welcome y'all in so thank y'all again and i'll catch y'all on the next one